In this demonstration, I will show you how you can join a Windows domain using Windows 11 Professional Computer. To join the Windows 11 Professional end device onto the Windows domain, the first thing you need to make sure is to have both devices, both this Windows Server and your end device, the Windows 11 Professional, on the same network. Once you have the two devices on the same network, log into your Windows 11 computer using your administration account and then go to settings, go to Windows updates and make sure your Windows is up to date. If there are additional updates that you can run, make sure you run them and install them before you join in the domain. Next, go to system and under system, on the bottom, you will see an option called about. Click on that. And make sure you have a name that is reasonable or meaningful. In my case, I have win11 pro x64 underscore one. I think it is a good name, so I'm gonna keep it as it is. But if you want to change that name, you can click rename this PC and you can change your PC to whatever you like. It is very important that you change this name to something meaningful. So when it joins the Windows domain, it is easy for you to see this PC on the server side. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that this computer can communicate with the server. I have a Windows server installed on a different VM and it shows an IP address of 192.168.1.2. This is a static IP address. And this is the IP address of the domain machine. This is running Windows Server 2019. And it has Active Directory Domain Controller installed and a domain called jl.local up and running. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna test the connectivity between the two devices. Go to your end device with the Windows 11 Professional and then open the start menu and type CMD. And then look at your IP address for your Windows server, which is 192.168.1.2 in this case, and then ping it. Ping 192. This proves that there is a connectivity between this machine and the Windows Server. Next, go back to the settings of your Windows machine under System, under About. And in the About section, you will see a section called Device Specifications. Underneath it, you will see an option called Domain or Workgroup. Click on that option and it'll give you this pop-up window. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on the option says to rename this computer or change its domain or work group, click change. So this one. So click on that button and then click on the option called the member of. So I know that my domain on my Windows server is jl.local. You need to know your administration password and the credentials in order to log in. So this is jl.local and it's in the same network and I can ping. So I'm gonna change the domain in here to jl.local and click okay. And you might get a message saying this has non-standard characters. This might cause a problem with some applications and network hardware. If you have underscores or other special characters on your name of your device, on your end device, I intentionally did this to just to show you guys this option. Obviously you can change your computer name if you would like to get rid of that underscore one. But in this case, I know it's not gonna cause any problem, so I'm gonna say yes. And it will take a moment and it'll try to 
connect with your domain and it'll give you a pop-up window, a Windows security message. And it'll say the computer name or domain changes and it'll say, please enter the permissions to join the domain. Now, what you're gonna enter here is the information that you have on your main domain server, specifically the administration account. So I'm gonna put administrator and the password for it and click OK. Once you join the domain, it'll give you an, a message saying welcome to the jl.local or whatever your domain name is and press OK. And then you have to restart your computer. And once you restart, you will be greeted with the domain join computer. After the restart, you'll be back at the login screen. On the login screen, you will see your local administration account, but don't log into that local administration account. Instead, on the bottom left-hand corner, click on other user, and it will tell you you're logging into JL, uh, and you can use any users in that your domain to log in into this machine. In this case, I'm just simply gonna use the administration account. Now, when I tabbed after administrator, it changed from sign in to the domain back to the local, uh, the local machine. As you can see, see it says JL. So that means it's in the domain. But if I go administrator, and if I do this, it'll revert back to local. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you put a at local dot whatever your domain um, ending in this case um, at uh, sorry my case is jl.local and then the enter the password of either the user or the administrator of the domain And there you go. You're now in a, the part of the domain. And if I go to the start menu and you go to settings and then you go to about, you would be able to see that you're part of the domain and it shows right here. It says the device name right here as win 11 pro x64 underscore one dot jl dot local. That means we have joined the domain. Now, if you go back to your Windows server, and if you go to the tools and Active Directory uh, users and computers, you will see under computers, that your new Windows 11 machine is now part of the domain. You can click on it and you can see it's already added to the system. Now, what if you want to remove this device from the domain, if you want to unjoin from this domain? You can do that from the settings of the end device as well. Again, you need to make sure that you have logged in as the domain administrator to where, you know, reconfigure this. So in this case, I'm logged in as the domain administrator and I'm gonna remove from the domain. So to remove your Windows 11 machine from the Active Directory domain controller, go to systems, go to about, under device, spe device specification, click on domain or work group, 
under the settings to rename this computer or change its domain or workgroup, click change and click on change. And put this back from jl.local domain to workgroup. And I'm just simply gonna name the workgroup workgroup and click OK. And it will give you a message saying after you leave the domain, you will need to know the password of the local administrator account to log into your computer. This basically means if you get out of the domain joint computer, if you take the domain joint computer out of the Active Directory, none of the usernames and password in the Active Directory going to work in order to log into this computer. You have to know your local username and password. So if you're okay with that, click okay. And it'll say, do you want to use this computer name? And I'm gonna say yes. After a moment, you'll greet it with a message saying, welcome to the work group or whatever you name your work group and click OK. And then it will ask you to restart your computer. And once you are back in the welcome screen, you will be able to log in with your general main user, uh, username and password for the local machine and there is no domain. So you can just basically log in and the computer will not have any domain join information. And if you go back to your Windows server, again, if you go to tools and you go to Active Directory users and computers, and then you will refresh this page, you will see that this computer is no longer part of the domain. It shows that it has left the domain with that this icon right here. That because of we remove this device from the domain and in, on the end device, you can go to start menu and you go to settings and you go to systems and about and you can see it is not part of the domain anymore. And that's how you join the domain using Windows 11 and also how you can unjoin the machine that already has been connected to the domain. Thank you.